If you're like me, you know that having good audio is super important. From listening to podcasts, to creating videos, to being at work on Teams and Zoom calls, you know good audio from bad audio. Good audio, you don't mind listening to, and it doesn't give you a headache or it doesn't strain your thought process. When you have bad audio, you just want to turn it off immediately. So the real question is, can $10 change your life with the PseudoTac microphone? Tune in. Hey everyone, I'm James and I'm back with another video, this time breaking down the pseudo, that's right, microphone. It's a $10 microphone that I got on sale on Amazon that actually has pretty decent audio. Now this thing is pretty interesting because if you're like me, you appreciate good audio. I mean, over here, I wouldn't say I have the most amazing audio in the entire world, but I have this blue black out spark microphone that I record all of my podcasts on Emerge Conflates, Coffeehouse Blunders, uh, Nintendo Dispatch. I've been doing the, the Don and Maui podcast. And of course, I record all of my actual YouTube videos on too. Now, what's pretty fascinating about this is that I like to have my microphone real close to me because I'm a podcaster, but I also like to create videos. And some people like that in, in the video and some people don't, but that's just my aesthetic. But I have given tons of recommendations to people to get all sorts of different microphones that range from $50 to $100 and if not more. So when I saw this thing come up and I was like, is this the perfect travel microphone? This, you know, this microphone is $10, comes with a stand, and is USB. So it's a great uh, microphone on the road, and it also enables you to change the gain right here too. So the question I have is, is this thing any good? Is it worth $10, and should you pick it up? So the first thing I wanna do is go ahead and get into an unboxing, so let's check it out. All right, so here we go, the ST600 PseudoTech. It's totally a microphone suitable for things that you wanna do with a microphone. And it's got things like different patterns and it's a thing, it's plug and play and it's got a kickstand. Oh, it's got stuff. It's got icons, USB, frequency response. It's compatible. It's got controls and it has silicon chips of perfection. Okay, so it's got a bunch of stuff in it, right? So it's, it's compatible with stuff. It has an easy just connected and go setup. So, you know, it's super duper rad. Now there's this frequency response. You know everything's better with charts and graphs and little things like this and it's got stuff, whatever, no one cares. Because it's a $20 microphone, right? And if it's on sale, it's $10, so you're good to go. It's got this sweet user manual. It's in color actually, so you're totally gonna read all of that, yep. Uh, all right, so it's got all the things that you need in a box, including the microphone itself and the kickstand for it as well. Now this pseudo tack microphone is not very heavy. It's made out of plastic, but it is a microphone. It has this cool little gain dial. It's about the size of my Retroid Pocket Plus 2, which is cool. And yeah, the dial feels good. It has a little click on the center of the gain, which is really nice. I appreciate that. But it's a microphone, it looks like a microphone. It's got this nice little uh, wind resistant cap thingy that kind of fits, but not really. And you're totally never gonna use it because you're not in the wind. So you can throw that away. Uh, you know, it's got that printer USB that we've all thrown into a box and never knew what to do with it. And of course the kickstand and an adapter because you need an adapter. Now this adapter is really nice. This is gonna enable you to put it onto a microphone uh, arm. So I have a Rode uh, microphone arm, but you get a newer microphone arm. I'll put those down in the show notes below. And of course you're gonna go ahead and plug in this little kickstand. So it, it stands up on your desk. Now it's not very big, you know, that's why you'd want a microphone arm because you want it to come up to your face, uh, which we'll demo that off here in a little bit. But yeah, you just throw away all that, that stuff and of course recycle that cardboard. Um, all right, so here's here it is. It's totally gonna be set up and it's gonna sit on your desk and it's, you know, $20 microphone. What do you expect? It's, it's a microphone. And there we go, it's a, it's a pseudo attack microphone. I really do like this gain dial. It's nice that it's right in front of you. Now it doesn't have a, a USB um, or headphone jack or anything like that. So you can't monitor yourself, but uh, you know you could at least uh, try to do that through whatever application you're using. Uh, but you know a lot of people don't even like to monitor themselves and they just need a microphone. So okay, I'm just gonna screw it in here and then yeah, you can adjust it different ways, which is nice. 
And yeah, it's uh, totally a microphone that you'd put onto your desk. There we go. It's looking pretty nice. Pseudo tack. All right, let's let's go ahead and give it a test. All right, so so far you've been listening to me 100% on my Blue uh, Spark Blackout microphone, whatever it is. I'll put it down in the show notes. It's down over there. So now the real question is, is the pseudo tack, that's right, pseudo tack microphone, this thing, any good? So what I have set up inside of my OBS for recording is the ability to switch to and from this microphone. Now this comes on just a little stand like you see here. So you could mount it on an arm. This is quite nice. It, it actually uh, rotates off. So you can see here that you could just plug this directly into, let's say this arm that I have right here and put it up to the microphone here. So we're going to test that out. But you know, like most people, you may not, not have an arm. So you're going to use this little leg right here. And you're just going to be at your desk like you are here. So I'm going to set it down. And inside of OBS, I have the ability to toggle it on and off. So get ready. Here we go. So I'm going to turn off my microphone and turn this. All right, now we are on the pseudo tack microphone and I'm going to turn the gain all the way down. There we go. That was a little low. You can't hear it because it's all the way down. I'm going to put it right in the middle and that is about what probably most people would put it on is right in the middle. But uh, I can tell that it's not necessarily super high and looking in OBS and I can see that it is pretty low compared to my blue spark out here. So I'm going to go ahead and turn the gain up over here. Now I don't have any effects on anything like that. And uh, I'm now seeing it in the yellow and I'm not peaking till about now. So that's not bad. I have the gain pretty high up, but I'm assuming it doesn't sound spectacular. The real question is, is what if I went into podcaster mode? So what I'm going to do now is go ahead and turn this down. Now I'm right in the middle again and I'm going to get real close to the microphone. Hey everyone, this is James Montemagno and I'm recording this podcast on the pseudo tack microphone. There we go. Now let's go ahead and see what that listens to right over here. Hey everyone, I'm James Montemagno and I'm recording this on my blue spark blackout, whatever the heck this thing is called a microphone. One more time. Let's head back over to here and let's turn the gain down just a little bit more. Hey everyone, this is James Montemagno and I'm really, really, really close to the microphone and maybe I'm peaking just a little bit too much. We may see if we can edit this in post. All right, what did you think? It's a pretty interesting comparison going back and forth here. Now, now ideally though, you'd have this, you know, probably like up here uh, on this microphone stand here. So let's go ahead and put this here. I'm gonna adjust it to my, my mic just as if I'm here. Let's switch over to it. It's about the same distance. Now we're back over on the pseudo tack microphone. Let's head back over to the blue microphone. Now we're back over on the blue microphone. Again, same settings and no filters or anything like that on it. Now let's get real close to it one more time. Now we're over on the pseudo tack microphone one more time. We'll see how this sounds in post. I'm excited to see. Now, the one thing that you're noticing is that I can't listen to myself. If I actually had my uh, headphones on, I could listen to myself in real time. Now, there's no monitor here. Let's go back over to this microphone. And again, let's head back over to this microphone. And now this is going to be my blue spark out one more time. Now, that, that's what's interesting about this microphone, right? So when you look at it here, it is a fairly nice microphone uh, overall. Um, you know, the, the microphone is going to be right here uh, coming in uh, to it. I do like that there is this gain. So if you see right there, if it zooms in there, boom, that gain is going to be pretty nice. Now, I do have some things up in the office, right? I have some uh, some, some different um, uh, noise insulators, things like that. But in general, you know, I think that this is halfway decent microphone that's coming in. I did some edits and, you know, some, some things in post. I, I think you had one in arm though, right? So the, the funny part here is that in arm, you got the cheaper newer arm, which I'll put down there. I had that newer arm. This is a, I have a road arm right how and right here that this is on. If you have the newer arm, that's going to be about $10. You could put this on. That's going to be a pretty nice setup. That's going to be way better than your webcam microphone. Uh, and in fact, what I'll do is I'm going to hook up a webcam and I'm going to record that as well. So you can see that side by side. Okay. So for fun, I decided to just hook up this really terrible Logitech C615 or whatever it is. And this is totally just the audio coming out of it at a normal distance. This is not this microphone at all. This is the actual 
audio from a webcam. Please do not use your webcam audio. I beg of you. Um, um, I think in general, you know, when you look at $10, $10 for this thing, you can't really go wrong, to be honest with you. I think it's a solid $10 investment. If you watch this 10 minute video and liked it, boom, it's good to go there. Now I have to say that I did get this on sale. I saw it on slick deals. It was $10 plus change over on Amazon. Now the, the cost of it may have gone up. It was on a sale and it was $20 originally. I'll put a link down in the show notes as a referral link. So that helps me out. It gives me, I don't know, a dollar 50 cents, something like that. If you buy one of these puppies, but yeah, it gives you everything you need. You get the cable, you get the microphone, you get the stand. If you were on the road and you were traveling, you were doing podcasting, this isn't too bad. It's also a really lightweight. I really like it comparatively. And I feel like you could just, you know, it's disposable almost to be honest with you. Uh, that's, that's sad to say, but uh, it's there. So there you go. Pseudo tack. It's there. What do you think? If you picked up one of these and you saw it on slick deals, let me know what you think in the comments below. Or heck, if you have a camera that you or not camera, but a microphone that you recommend that's on the cheap that's been treating you really good, let me know. I'd love to give it a whirl. But of course, uh, if you like this video at all, give it a thumbs up down there. And of course, uh, subscribe. You can get notified every time I come out a new video, usually about programming, but sometimes tech reviews just like this. All right. Cheers, everyone. Have a good one.